in today's episode we have the final game of the season against Arsenal and we'll also see the review of the season. <laughs> back to around the world in 80 clubs since you were last with me and the draw against wolves we then went on to draw against liverpool in a great result with schultz getting the only goal we then lost 2-0 to erling Haaland and um manchester city unfortunately but then we had a bit of a resumed to form most recently against crystal palace we won 7-1 with steyer malcolm canate getting a brace mcchies getting a brace and Leon's getting one we were just on fire i really i did think that everything we touch was turning to goals so with that being said for today's game we have petrovic in goal mahmoud marcos cooper and magnuson at the back gardner and canante in midfield with machace out wide schultz and stir behind laskowski up top so what would be a good result here i don't think it really matters to be honest i think if i remember rightly we're 10th and yeah we are 10th and we can't really go up or down if we if we win we'd have to win and get nine goal swing against everton so and everton are playing brighton who are mid table so it's not likely to happen um i think we're pretty much guaranteed to finish finish 10th um but so the question is what happens oh gaskowski just chips one into the far corner and it's aston villa one arsenal nil and this is big game for arsenal they could potentially i think finish in the top four still with a win Oof. ramsdale puts the ball over the crossbar there but now up steps my chase plays it in towards the front post but it's cleared away if arsenal win oh they can't well manchester united are drawing but i don't think they can get in the top four but you would expect them to to be in that top four really you can see that their players though however they have a lot of real life players who are clearly gonna be getting on a bit i mean we're what 20 years in the future nearly 10 years in the future something like that and yes we we would think that most teams wouldn't have people but they've they have they've got 90 percent of their squad by the looks of it are real life players like odegaard have saka all all should be getting on a bit you would think but here's Hughes now on the ball for Arsenal. Malero, Salva, plays it into Hughes. Hughes back to Salva. Valencia, but Laskowski takes it off him, but then loses out straight away. And Odegaard has played it into Saka. Can Saka find a ball across? He does to Odegaard, but it's saved well and pushed away for a corner. As Martinelli now takes the corner, plays it in towards the near post. Cooper headers clear, and then it's headed back towards and uh, towards our goal, but goes out for a goal kick. And now we're having to make some changes. 
I've just noticed my chase suddenly drop it looks like he's taken an ox a can can come in we're gonna bring lanes in for stour uh mahmoud can come off for sansi and we'll leave it there for now so we made three changes there around 55 60 minutes so we are just gonna try and hold on as i say this puts us uh, Everton are winning 3-0 against Brighton so this just confirms our spot Spurs are also winning but we would have to lose in order for them to gain any kind of place above us but it looks like it's all gonna finish here and we have won our final game of the season 1-0 so with that happening we finish 10th in the league fantastic result for us considering at the start of the season i was worried with the amount of young players we had um how they would fit um we brought in a couple of players in january which just boosted at what position we we're at i think with a little bit more defensively we've got a really good chance we're scoring goals for fun so if we can just shore up the defense that will be good uh we are given 21.24 million for finishing uh 10th 1.7 million we've paid out so club form Player of the year. We, we've achieved what they asked. Uh, his target. So Lucas achieved his target. And uh, although he became injured, he did play well um, when we had him. Sansi. Uh, he's delighted. He's happy that he joined us basically and again he's someone that that i think could take the club to the next step the board uh wage budget of three million but no transfer budget so with that being said we've got no transfer budget let's have a look at realistically potentially where we could make some money um it would probably be by selling one or more of the defenders uh obviously we've got malcolm um bonetti potentially could go we could also potentially get rid of shipper although i am not entirely sure about that one or let's have a look who we've got. Baldazzini will probably go. Some of these players might go to give us a couple of million, but realistically, we can't actually do anything in the transfer window. I mean, we can put some of that across. We could have five million. We're 73 in debt. It looks like we're not going to be able to do much coming into here so we'll just have a quick look at the transfer at the transfer jobs doesn't really look like anything's massive maybe arsenal if that comes up we might take a look at um but realistically germany spain italy none of the teams are particularly pushing out at the moment um obviously there could be a merry-go-round if if the Arsenal manager does end up getting sacked, um, we could potentially see. But I think we'll stay at Villa. I think we've got at least another season um, in us. I think we can we can push on to the next level next season. That's for sure. So Malcolm was the transfer of the season. He made six appearances, two goals. We paid £94 million in total for him. 
And when we're spending that kind of money last year, it's unlikely that we'd get much this year. Let's be realistic. So we got comfortably in every part of the um, thing. We we managed to managed to give good expectations of where we thought. The biggest win was that 7-1 win against Crystal Palace. Most memorable match, though, was the 5-1 against the rivals Wolves, which was a in-game match, I believe. It was an episode match. And the goal of the season was Linz. Let's have a look at this goal then from Linz, shall we? Watch goals. We want to watch this next goal, isn't it? Here we go. So Schultz picks it up on the far wing, plays it back to Linz, and Linz just chips it into the far corner. That was a good goal. I remember that one now that I've seen it again. Fantastic. So financially, we're down on sponsorship, down on broadcast revenue, corporates up, competition prize money's up, match day is up, our reputation has stayed the same. Uh, Kanate, Leskowski, Malcolm, Magnuson, and Schultz all on the team shirts, 7.65 million. So our team of the season is Lucas in goal, Mahmoud, Marcus, Shalaba, and Magnuson at the back. Lanes, Kanata and Kuhn out wide. Steer and Schultz behind Laskowski up top. That is something that I think we're really good for. Aston Villa flew out the traps and set themselves up well for the season. They say it's important to get off to a good start but it rings as true as ever for Aston Villa's season. So, we are here. We have got, we've lost social media followers. Um, develops youth. Well, I can't do that if they don't give me, don't do it, but okay. That's not really down to me, is it? But we will agree to it. And then, and for this season, that's an end. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I've been the Mask Manager. And until next season, I have spoken. <laughs>